Okay, so and welcome back to the qualifying. As I said, we're gonna get to see everybody, everybody's last times before they head out. Sorry about that. That real quick. Okay. So now we have the updated names and just the update. Driver 35, he is indeed SD place. He's a reserve, so that's why we don't have his name. He's reserving from tier two. I have two minutes left to go in the session. Go Shadow Storm, which I believe is just turning up his lap now. No, it's not. But in a fine lap, let's see. In a flying lap, <coughs> Morton, which is told, which is Tosman, has decided to not go out last time. I think Ledford here, yeah, Ledford is st starting up his lap. He's the current provisional pole sitter. Let's see what can he produce in his last flying lap. He turns up to the last to the first corner. This is a pretty easy flat out. Goes down to fourth gear, takes a wide line, then makes it tight on down to the hangar straight. Oh, a bit of a moment on the exit. Ferrari moves out the way, DRS wide open. Let's see what can he do in his first second. That would be much of improvement. Yeah, it isn't. He loses two tenths. Now, what can he do on the exit onto the hangar straight? Let's see how tidy. So now they'll go down into cops. So far in the middle sector, the fastest driver is uh, Victor Thais. God, sorry, I can't really know how to pronounce that, but. Michael Beckett's make a break a lap. That seemed pretty solid to me. DRS open. Ah, but it's still three and a half tenths off the current purple lap and. Also, yellow on his own sector time, so this is not going to be his fastest lap. Storm, is he setting a lap? I believe he is. Well, he's hasn't gone faster in the first sector. Another Alpine is the Alpine. Oh, Alpine as he got out the way, ruined Storm's lap. Now he's definitely going to get a heavy penalty, the Alpine, for what he did there. A storm, he was a contender for pole today. What is said, decided to stay in. Now, what about Isaac Wake Cruz? He did a great middle sector. Oh, it goes a bit wider on the grass. Is the Ascent, does he decide to back off? Yes, he has decided to back off. As Ariyada. Riyadka decide to go second. So it's a front row lockout for Mercedes as it stands, but people still finish up their laps. This lap got ruined. Let's see anybody else's. He's the young, goes fifth. A reserve driver. No, he can't improve. And Shadow Storm is out. So maybe that that is the grid for the sprint race. The front row lockout for Mercedes. Then Storm in the Red Bull in third, Morton fourth, he's the young fifth, Alpha Tire driver Thais uh, is in sixth, Spock seventh, Bram eighth, and then the reserve Damio, I believe his name is, in, in uh, ninth, ten it's Makovsky, eleven Sheehan, twelve Jose Felix, thirteen. Big land. Uh, 14 is ST Place. He's reserve driver from tier 2. 15 Rope Jacobs. 16 Storm. 17 Bartley. And then we'll see the rest later on.
Now, on to the sprint race. It should be a great one. It could be full of some potential punctures, as uh, Silverstone is known for being a bit of a tyre killer. The people that decide to risk it and go long might not pay off for them, but we're going to have to see. As we head to the grid. So in the sprint race, uh, we have, I believe it was uh, 13 laps. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's about 13, 13 laps. As the, f as the main race is 26 laps long. So as a friendly lockout for Mercedes, let's see if they can uphold her in the race. It'll be tough because they have really fast drivers behind and Silverstone is a very tough track. It's very easy to spin, make mistakes because of tire wear or time or cutting track for... Sorry, uh, cutting track for track limits. Yeah. Let's go to the grid to start. The, and here we go. Off, off we go for the formation lap. Okay, so let's see what everybody's opted for the tire compound. Actually, sorry, I have to remove the in-game. So let's see who, what people decided. I don't know why I keep showing that. I'm going to have to wait a second. Yeah, the way for that to pass, that's a bit of a glitch. But, you know, I can't have it all. Uh, same other purpose. Here we go. So it seems like everybody's up to the start on the medium tire compound, actually. As Jack led for a second, like a really aggressive strategy, just completely stormed in front, which seems quite bizarre to me. Are you sorry about that? It's uh, nine laps. It's nine laps. But Jack Ledford is going to have really cold tires. I don't really know. It's really confused me there. Don't know really what he what his plan is. I mean, he's gonna have colder tires than everybody. I mean, look, he's just sitting there on the grid by himself. Right along with Jack for at the very start. Right here we go. As a, a few drivers disqualify Sparks and Chihon, they must have got a red grid slot and Damio too, the reserve driver for Red Bull. Okay, so here we go to the grid start sequence. Two, three, four, five red lights. And the way we go, so they can change the camera angle, because we can't really see what's going on, how you can change here. As Jalad loses the lead to his teammate Ariadaka down the inside. Obviously, Jalad for losing a lot, being on the colder tyres as he decided to go really fast on the formation lap. As Bram seems to be one of the biggest losers, biggest winners, sorry. As the Storm maintains its position. As Cal Morton has actually lost quite a bit, and Darmio must have spun, I believe. Darmio must have spun. Yes, he has indeed. He is now find himself actually not last. Chasmuster is probably also spun, also is just past him. As Robert Jacobs just left the session, probably disconnected, but I don't have him added, so I can't invite. Right at the front, but I'm really close to Storm. Is he going to think about a move? No. Think about it, into Cops, the two. Oh, they see the gained and lost. So, before we do that. Quite bizarre. Anyway, 
Uh, I think I gained one, Ledford lost one, Storm stayed in position, Bram, big winner at the very start there, gained four positions, Young stayed in his position, Morton lost two, Taiska lost one, Sparks lost one, Cubs, Cubsy gained one, Jose Felix gained two, Mikulan gained two, ST plays gained two, Storm gained three, Sheehan lost three, Bartley gained two, Robbie Jacobs gained, lost one. Chaz Minister gained one and Damio lost nine, of course, because of that spin. That seemed like team orders to me. I think I didn't really put up a fight. Maybe try to see what uh, Jack Ledger's pace has in clear air. As I believe Storm at the back didn't overtake on Stradows' yellow flags. Don't know what that was for. Now, let's see. Will they play the team game, Mercedes? Like, I don't care. Will they play the team game? Slow down. Storm, so Ledford can run away with it. Whether it let them fight, as it is only the sprint race at the end of the day. Total points up to grabs are eight, which can make a massive difference in the standings. That I believe Morton just passed the Williams, and he did. Will Williams go for the switch back? No, I can't get good traction out on the exit. Is a fight currently going on between these two drivers and they make contact. So, like the McLaren just run them off track. As through goes the Ferrari, actually, pretty much identical to what happened in Silverstone 2022. And Edgar finds himself very close to Jack Ledford. Now he's beneath. Oh, I actually lost quite a few there. Maybe it's been a bug. There's a slipstream. And the DRS. These drivers all seem to be on very similar pace. I'm sure you'll play out to be a great race. And of course, alternate tyres has also come into play in the race. People that start on hards, the people that start on mediums. Okay. Copsy is close to the driver ahead. I reckon we'll just head at the front for now. <coughs> and she the fastest sectors. Currently, Storm has the fastest first sector, 128. And actually, the two Mercedes are fighting a bit there. Jack Ledford having to defend a bit. And they don't want to fight too much, as they might be vulnerable to Storm in the Red Bull, which has proven to have pretty good pace. Everybody seems to be on similar pace, as I said. As now Bram also joining the party and not too long until Morton will. As Jack Ledford just sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. But if he can get a good exit here Storm, he can think about making an overtake. But no, it seems like the Mercedes has a better traction out the corners and also as DRS of his teammates, so He's not going to gain as much as he would like on the straights, the Red Bull driver. Actually, he's going to contact! <coughs> yeah, but the, every time he makes contact with the William driver, I believe that was Young as Tigs are losing so many positions. Finding down, down into 15th. That is surely going to give the Fiat something to think about. Yeah, and that, I believe, is his race ruin. There's only five laps to go. Now we go. His teammate find him very close down the street. Sorry about that. Very, very close. He decides to actually, it seemed like he closed DRS before the corner just to make sure. And I believe that's his second warning for track limits, actually. But these two seem to have very similar pace. 
I got five laps to go. It's three second time penalty for Carl 67, who's Robert Jacobs. I'll just get that from the game. Robert is currently running 13th, which is uh, not a points paying position, as points paying positions goes up to 8th. And first gets 8th, and then they go down by 1. All the way down to 8th. And what the Red Bull think? No. See. Is William, but these two Mercedes drivers, Ledford doesn't really seem interested in letting his teammate by, even though it seems like his teammate has a bit better pace. Really wonder how this is going to play out in the race. See, being very much not aggressive there, Edgar, he could have gone for the dive bomb, he could have thought about it, really. But, I don't know if these two are in a call or anything, I don't believe they are, but, well, I'm sure that if they weren't in the same team, it would be a very different story. As Ledford said, some other fastest have the Grand Prix update on the fastest sectors. Okay, wait, Ledford has the fastest lap, but has none of the fastest sectors. Oh, maybe we should still be able to capitalize on that poor exit by the Mercedes. But Storm seems to be running more downforce, therefore he's slower on the straights. See, it's for a story, so it's third. In the top three, we've seen no changes in the positions. I believe everybody's been a bit more passive in the sprint race. As they don't want to ruin their grid slot for the race. As Anirud gets a 3 second time penalty. And that is huge. He will lose out a lot of positions that is very close at the top. I believe we do some quick maths here. He'll be probably down in 6th or 7th. <coughs> Yeah, I'd say probably 5th or 6th, actually. That could be Copsy. Uh, yeah, he has. He's just been overtaken by the Alpine. And of course, Copsy doesn't want to lose any more positions because that means he loses that one point as the horse behind him spins. And that is Jose Felix, I believe. What a time to watch him, and I believe that that is the dreaded final corner. It was a Felix, he was a ninth, running a ninth, and now he's found himself down into 14th. It's gonna go from beyond the Alpine down the inside. Can he make it stick? Oh, I hate that PV. Yes, he can. Alpine now on the straight has the DRS. But also the Haas. As the Red Bull starts to flash now, he has indeed got a little amount of ERS. As Ani Ariadica gets out of the DRS of Ledford, and so does the. Does he? Let's see. No, um, Red Bull of Storm just managed to stay into the DRS. But I don't think he's going to get any more DRS this race unless he manages to pick up the pace. As Cobsey makes a move on Sparks, actually. These two are in a great fight. Of course, they're both fighting for points because this is 8th and 7th. As Robert Jacobs retires from the session, wonder what happened there. Can we maybe see his car? Yeah, he crashed into the wall. And the Haas also opposed to Felix, so maybe they made contact. As Storm seems to be very close to the Mercedes. As the Mercedes, of course, has lost the RS. As Morton. Has Morton spun? Yes, he has. It's crucial. 
Alpha Tauri spins from third down to eight. Let's go back to this fight. It's quite interesting. And it gets a good exit. He can maybe think about cops, but no, he can't. Really, think about cops if you're only side by side. Or Celestia Lewis Hamilton, anyway. After Max and Beckett, he gets a good exit. And of course, DRS. You just, what's the real big difference now is that Adiatka has, hasn't got DRS of his teammate, and Storm does. Oh, he's got DRS. So he's getting so much more on the straights. Does he really go for a move? No, he's just a bit too far back. But he does stay with the Mercedes. I doubt these two will want to fight really hard as we go into the final lap. Ledford isn't really thinking about dropping down so his teammate can get the DRS. As Bram also getting really close. Maybe a three-way fight in the last lap for second place. As Red Bull, as the sorry, the Mercedes starts to flash in the rear. That means that he is below 10% ERS. So yes, sorry, let's just get an update on the penalties. Well, actually, even on side by side through Cops, as Williams goes for the switch back now, side by side through Max and Beckett. Will he make the move? He does make the move on the Red Bull. That is huge. Brahma stayed behind him this whole race, patiently waiting for an opportunity. He had it and he went for it, and it was a great, great move. He went for a move in Cops, but now the Red Bull is going to come back at him. Down the inside, Williams off to the outside line. Of course, that's a line. It's a slower line for that corner, but he goes for the switchback again as he makes a bit of contact, goes off the circuit, and I believe that that's his hopes for third gone. But of course, actually, sorry, he will get third because Adiatka has got a three-second time penalty. So there we have it. Adiatka falls down to <coughs> fifth position, and Ledford starts on pole. Storm starts second, Bram starts third, Young fourth. So it's far, four drivers in the top five for the Merck Academy. So it's a great race for them. As Jose Felix, as he did, he's been on the last lap. Sorry, we missed that. Yeah, this is going to make for a really, really good race because everybody's on very similar pace. And that's obviously good for spectators, but not good for the racers.
Okay, so everybody, we are back for the main event as everybody is starting their formation lab. Let's have to move. That, everybody, if we start the formation lab. Oh, that's a bit bizarre. We see two drivers on softs. Now, that is definitely an alternate strategy. Now, will Ledford learn from his mistakes in the formation lab of the sprint race and not go far ahead? Doesn't seem like it, but I don't know. I wouldn't. When he consider it a good idea for him to go ahead. And it's saying, yeah, two drives and softs. Now that's really weird because softs drive soft they just absolutely lose so much pace so fast in the race. As yet, Ledford, again, just steams ahead. I just don't see how that's a good idea. As in the, in the formation, I've, oh, Damio and uh, Exotic must have made contact. I mean, in the sprint, I mean, he lost the position because of cold tires, but. Anyway, and also, uh, Sheehan on hards. Bartley and Ariadka on softs, gonna see how that works out for them. And everybody else starts on mediums. <coughs> yeah, Ledford's so far ahead. Let's just take up the in game map for a second, actually. Or he's just gonna renew it a second. I just need to see. Look how far ahead he is. Everybody isn't even on the. Isn't even lining up yet. That is quite a bizarre strategy that I don't see how it works out for him, but we're gonna have to see. As everybody now lines up on the grid. Let's see, is anybody gonna red time it? As it's Mercedes in first, Red Bull in second, then it's a second row lockout for Williams. Then the Merck in 5th, Haas in 6th. We have Alpine in 8th, Alphatari in 9th, and then we have some McLaren running up to the top 10. As Ledford pulls it at least to session. That is the worst time for him to leave the session. That means that Storm's going to get an easy lead, you would imagine. Actually, he doesn't. It's a big contact with William. They both got the race in the first corner. Is Storm going to go out? No, he doesn't. He just manages to keep it on track. But that means that Bram and Storm, two drivers that were in the running for the win, lose out in the first corner of the race. That's now it's wheel to wheel between the Alpine and the Williams. Actually, I think that the Haas wanted to join the party there and make it free wide. I think the Williams have the fastest top speed. But no, it doesn't. Alpine goes down the inside. William now takes the inside line. Can the Alpine stay there? Yes, he can. Will they go side by side down into down into hang straight down into cops? <coughs> no, they don't. They don't. Williams managed to check the Alpine. As I said, Ledford is out of this race. I'm gonna see if I can maybe invite him, but I don't know if I'm. Added. No, I don't. It's a shame for him. He was the pole sitter. Hopefully somebody else can invite him. Sorry, okay. That's a massive, massive shock for this race. As Ledford car still managed to ride in second. Hopefully, we can get him sorted out. As he's, I believe I just, he just sent me a friend request. So, we'll try to get him back into this race. As it is only fair. There he is. 
Now, hopefully, he can get back into this race. Let me move on back to this race now. <coughs> this is the McLaren starting on softs, which those softs have probably still actually seen start to fall off. As the L tackle Magnus is drawing again, it is worst timing for Young as he was just about to pass him. Now, will Young manage to get the pass before he gets back into his car? As I believe he got into his car as Young got into the William. Actually, no, yes, and yet. <coughs> as the red car is gaining a lot now, two seconds a second. As he sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. You can see that also DRS is indeed enabled. Okay, down. Bigot Dears, I believe that's seen anybody getting closer. And Young actually is 3.5 behind the Merc. As Ledford is really impatient behind that Williams. Takes a video to remind them that they're both Mercedes Academy drivers and a good result is key for both of them. As Shaz Mister actually goes into the pits. Wow, it's a nightmare race for him. <coughs> now where can we see Morton? How okay? Let's sorry. Let's just get, see the gain loss. So much has happened there. So let's do the gain loss. So it's obviously Bram, because of that spin, as actually Young lets Jack let for the pass. That's really nice to see. Lovely team orders there. Now Bram, he obviously spun with the Storm, losing ten positions. Storm of Bull was a bigger loser in that, as he is dead last, and by quite some margin. Considering he started this race on the front row and that finds himself last, as I guess that's the fastest up to Grand Prix. I believe that's Robbie Jacobs, has he spun? Yes, he has, as the Aston Martin weaves to avoid him. Jose Felix is the biggest winner. He gained nine positions, Bartley five, Sparks three, Young one, but we move our attention to this three way fight here. I have to see. This McLaren is very close, actually. Let's just go back to these. And with Alpine, go through Cops, manages to stay really close to the McLaren. From Exxon Beckers, if he can keep a tight line and get a good exit, he could definitely think about a move as he seems to be. Oh, he spins! Almost saves it but goes off track. That's such a shame. He got too happy with the throttle. And that can easily happen when you're chasing down another driver. And now it's Bartley, his softs will start to fall off now already. Now let's see if we can see his tire wear. That's three, four lap old softs. Uh, sorry, I was trying to add that of course, the pole suit. He's also on softs, so... Oh, and you can see that his tire is really not enjoying it. As uh, Jack Ledford, he is catching up. I feel like they catch up for what's, what's best for the team as it's less desperate past as he is on the better tire compound. That's where Storico started first. He was on the grid and he had that horror of the disconnection. Now all these drivers seem to be very very close on pace. But nobody seems to be wanting to make a move as it's starting to form a bit of a DRS train. As I believe we're starting to slow down the race a bit, everybody kind of eases into the car. 
as this is Jose Felix, he's had a wonderful race. He started 15th and finds himself 5th on lap 5. As Exotic, which I believe is... Go through the names here. Actually, I don't know who he is. Exotic, he... Uh, gets a 3 second time penalty. For track limits. Let's check out the penalties for now. So Stormer, that's not like, okay. Storm, he has six seconds. Or well, Jacob's three seconds. And as SC plays, goes into the pits. I wonder why. Does he need to do a front weight change? Let's see, and then we'll move swiftly to Jose Felix. Does he need a front wing change? No, I guess his tires just gave up on him. As now I move up to these. As they're all in a chasing pack, I'd say, lead, trying to chase down current leader Ariadka on the soft tires. And I'd say that they are making steady progress, but you would expect them to make more as they are of mediums and Ariadka's on softs. This has got the live gap between these two drivers. This is the gap, as you can see. Top six are all separated by 4.2. Uh, top top five, sorry to say. We're all very close. Pretty really a bit of a glitch with the timings. That Redka said it's the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. That is a statement. And I believe that Cobsey has actually just spun and gone out of this race. Yes, you can see his Haas in the barrier. And will that cause a safety car? Doesn't seem like the FIA are pushing for a safety car actually, but you would expect one in that. We say just go see. Okay. I believe that that's McLan or Robert Jacobs spinning actually. Yes, he must have spun there also a lot. So you can see that the Alpine ahead is very, very close to the Red Bull. Of course, Storm ahead, he is a very fast driver as we know. You just need to see if the Alpine can actually. Oh, and that is a bit of a cut there. Alpine pushing very hard. He's trying to get to me, but he gets three, gets five seconds, the time penalty, to Nariadka, sorry. That's five seconds to Nariadka, and Alpine spins. Nariadka speeds, going into the pit lane, he's the race leader. Pits from the race lead, of course, he had the softs. But that's a massive turn of events for the Mercedes driver. And I'm sure that that penalty will cost him, will cost him a lot. As Bartley also goes into the pit lane, as they both put on hards, I believe. Definitely the McLaren put on hards. Right, you can see that just in a few corners, so much happened in this race. As Storm gets five seconds, as we know. Oh, that's Storm! Why didn't he get five seconds? Did he go into the pit lane too? Everybody's getting penalties all in the last few laps. As I believe that Stormage is out of this race. And now the Young is getting very close to Ledford. DRS enabled. Let's see the live gap. As he soaks up all the slipstream. Remember, just a few laps ago, Young is the one that let let for the pass, and now he is here showing superior pace as Damio gets three second time penalty.
No, so Sparks very close. I know the Felix also very close. The RS open. The damage can again demonstrate. Start 7.8. Actually lost a bit. Can't be right, it's a bit of a bug there. As I'd say it's a four tenths, yes it is four tenths. Sorry, I had to kinda pitch pit it for softs. He's going for a two stop. Alternate strategy, that's for sure. Who knows, maybe it'll pay off for him. Uh, so far we have three races out. Storm, Copsy and Jasmister. Now DRS and Slipstream. And I'm sure he's using that ERS. <coughs> 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 Oh, McLean is out. Has he spun? Let's try with the Mercedes. If you can see his car. Did he just retire in the pit? Where's his car? He must have spun out on the last corner. Now his car must have just despawned. Oh, there's quite a ton of events. McLean and actually... Adyadka says the fastest after the race, of course, he is on softs, so you would imagine he would be the fastest driver on track. So now we turn our attention back to the front. As this leading pack, which then forms a bit of a gap down to the Alpha Tauri. Actually, a great recovery by Bram after that first lap incident to find himself in sixth. So I believe that Williams is really close to the Mercedes. I said it's DRS active. You saw the slipstream. Doesn't think about a move. I'm sure that the Williams driver sort of get a bit frustrated. Look at the Felix gets very close to the Alpine. Oh, a bit of a moment at the exit of the last corner. That is a very tough corner to deal with, especially with high tire wear, as Morton comes into the pits. Of course, Silverstone have the longest pit lane and the slowest pit limiter too. So I believe the average time loss is about 25 seconds. Actually, I should just go to more than... Let's check. Oh, sorry. It's actually 30 seconds. Wow. Over 30 seconds. It's a really long pit line. Now, will the Williams think about making, making a move on Ledford before they pit? I swear I won though, but I don't think so. I think I'll take better of it. As he said, I had his opportunities. As it seems like Sparks and Jose Felix are starting to lose a bit of touch to the top two. No, then let them pit this lap as we are coming up to the pit window. As Box comes into the pits. As also Bram and Taiska all come into the pits lane. As we are of course starting to come up to that time. I have 15 laps to go in this race. Now will any of these drivers get held up? Doesn't seem like it's Williams goes into the pit. 2.2 seconds. I 
as Storm finds himself back at the front, you could say, but of course, he has yet to pit. The five second time penalty for RB Cups. And his race is good because goes from bad to worse as he is already in last going into the pit lane. And of course, also gets the penalty. Now these two, the match, and they also decide to go into the pits this lap. As Yorgos has lost a bit of touch to the Mercedes, as he goes above the seconds. Now the Mercedes goes into the pit, and the William also goes into the pits. As as huge. El Taco Jack, which actually Jack Ledford, sorry. He gets a five second for speeding in the pit lane. He was trying his best to gain as much time in the pits that he could. That he overshot and broke too late. And that's why he was given the five second time penalty. And that, of course, is going to be a ma massive damper in the works for him. As also Storm and Darvmi are both coming to the pits. So both Red Bull drivers are into the pit lane. Oh, and they both met a moment at the exit of the corner there. At the exit of the pit lane, sorry. And let's see, after a few around the pit stop, let's see. Still pit. Right. Let's see. So in the top ten, everybody has in the pit stop except for Sheehan and Jose Felix. Ariadka, of course, he finds himself on soft, so he will have to do another pit stop. <coughs> actually, let's see the all the current tires actually. Everybody on hard so Jose Felix yet to pit and Ariadka's on softs. And he will have to do a second pit stop. So he's gone for a very aggressive strategy. At the 5 second time penalty, everybody's just not breaking early enough in the pits and is getting these 5 second time penalties. And for some reason, they don't really seem to be showing up, but they do have them. I mean, of course, we'll see that in the final results. So, Adyatka comes into the pits already, and I'm sure he'll be putting on the mediums. Let's see. If he puts on the hards, there really has been no point to his whole... Uh, he has a service penalty, oh sorry. A service penalty there. That seems very weird for me. He decided to go for the hards, even though having a fresh set of mediums available to him. Definitely the alternate strategy of the day. As Ledford actually passes... The McLaren, actually the McLaren, he's on uh, Sheehan, it's on old hearts, he has yet to pit. So you'd imagine Jack Lekford on fresher ties would just be an easy pass, and it was, just down the inside. And the McLaren couldn't really put much of a, couldn't really put much of a fight. You can see it's overcast and the track temp, it's not ideal. Of course, it doesn't really feel like much, but having the overcast actually makes quite a bit of difference for tire temps and tire grip and track grip more. So, as the race seems to be sliding down a bit as we actually go past the halfway mark. As Ledford finds himself in first, Sheehan in second, yet to pit. He's going long as El Taco Jack actually, sorry, Jack Lefford does the fastest lap of the race, which is 130.138. As Young finds himself in third, but in a net second, Sparks is fourth, Ozzy Felix in fifth, uh, Thais Gaines in sixth, Bram in seventh, Bartley in eighth, Morton in eighth, died. Storm in tenth. Storm in tenth after that. 
first lap disaster, but Bram has managed to do a bit of a recovery, he finds up in second. And of course, getting a position off for Sheehan, so he's actually in sixth, so he's done a great recovery race. So the young finds himself very close to the McLaren and passes them on the straight with DRS open. <laughs> As Shihan finally comes into the pits. Yeah, race starting to die down as everybody finds themselves pretty separated on track. Actually, yeah, the Alphatari is very close to the Haas driver. As the Haas driver is flashing, which means he's got he's low on ERS, but it seems like also is the Alphatari. So. The arrow is activated. <laughs> Ten laps to go. So far, been no safety cars, even though it doesn't mean there hasn't been any crashes or anything. I just have four drivers out of this race. You're so open. I'm just gonna keep gaining on this house until eventually I think that the attempt to move at least is inevitable. That's for some back so you can keep a tight line and get a good exit. Goes also with DRS helping him. He can definitely get the move done now. Now slipstream DRS and ERS. You see everything he has at his disposal, but it's just not enough to get close enough to then for therefore take make the move. I will go for the first corner. I was to make an alternate line so it doesn't get disturbed by the dirty air. Now the Avatari is super close of the gearbox of the Haas. Here we go. Avatari has to compress his line a bit. The RS open, nothing separating them two now. Still can't think about a move.
Wigan and Tirando Fases, second as first is Ledford, second Storm, third is Bram. Now there has been some incidents between drivers, so I'm sure that fear will also heavily take into effect in this race. In the final race order, I mean. Now, maybe try to go for a move here. But I don't know, it seems like he's just biding his time. Waiting maybe a bit more towards the end of the Grand Prix. As Ledford also is just running away with it now. Four seconds. Actually, two seconds is the gap. Sorry, that's a bit of a glitch there. I assume these box also just in the DRS. So Jose Felix uses that position. To Bram, as Bram obviously is on the recovery race, and it seems to be going well for him as he's making up positions. And now he finds himself as his next opponent, opponent is the Alpha Tauri. I started third, now he's fifth, but oh, not to forget that that first lap contact, which also made. A massive toll in his ambitions to win the race. And Avatari goes very wide there, just gonna compromise his line down this straight. And Verbram finds himself in the DRS. Yes, he does. Young is super close to his Alpine driver. So they all seem to be very close to Williams to the Alpatari and the Williams to the Alpine. As they go to the three second time penalty. DRS is activated. Also Alpine is flashing. They have much much DRS to defend. Williams thinks better of it this lap, but I'm sure next lap he'll think about a move. As Morton passes the McLaren. As Jack Ledford sets the fast up the Grand Prix. Now DR is open again, really thinking about it, it just seems to be too far back, just not getting it up on the straights. As Adiadka, he's intense, seems like that alternate strategy hasn't worked out for him. Only way it works out for him is maybe he gets a safety car, but even then.
Now five laps to go left in this Grand Prix. Now what can the Williams do with this five laps that remain? I believe Bram, he'll be happy with the fourth that he will get, of course, because this guy's got the, the three second time penalty for track limits. But the RS Open, Williams find himself very close to the Alpine. But not close enough. Oh, better moment there at the exit. Almost lost it there. Now tire wear started to creep in. People might be at risk of punctures at the end of the race. Of course, Ledford has to think about maybe saving his tires just to make sure to eliminate all risk of a puncture. Go oh, now, the way they find so very close to the Alpine. We now that seems to be a similar story. Gets close and that chicane, but then this is uh, on the exit. Williams is starting to run out of laps to make this overtake. Now also the other Williams Bram is also getting closer, but less of a necessity for Bram to make the overtake. As the Williams gets a warning. Much tighter line as DRS activated and the slipstream and he's using his ERS. See goes down the inside it's down the inside William falls back closely as he makes the move stick he doesn't even make the move stick on sparks I'm sure not good out without a fight he will want to make a move back and I see tire age as we have three laps to go As Jack Ledford tests another faster slap, doesn't seem to be saving his tires too much. Ten second time penalty for There again, again ten seconds. Not really sure what that was for, but yeah, his race is really actually going his way today as he actually retires in the pit lane. The yellow flag in sector it's like the one Has somebody got a puncture who is that must just be uh maybe robbie jacobs just retiring in the pits triggered the yellow flag i'm not sure <coughs> I 
and this is the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix as it stands it's gonna be a win for Ledford a second for Young third for Sparks and a fourth for Bram it's actually Young gets three seconds as I'm talking about I'm getting a podium gets three seconds now Sparks he doesn't have a penalty a bit of an update of the penalties actually the youngest three seconds and this guy's got three seconds so young has to somehow gain three seconds on sparks and don't know how he will do that that's a tough do as sparks has sh that's a tough thing to do as spark has shown really good pace i think best thing young can hope for is as we start the final lap this is Ryway Jack Ledford as he drives to victory. He has drove in a stellar race, constantly thinking about it. It's a poor disconnection at the start at the front at the start, sorry, but the spark just starting to lose a bit of time, but that's a bit that's irrelevant. And I think that the Williams, he's going to have to think about maybe he's going to lose out on the podium. I'll have to see with the final race order. Here we go. Jack Ledford goes through Cops for the last time this race. Goes through Max and Beckett for the last time. He has had a race where realistically nobody has been able to challenge him except for Williams for the brief moment. For a very, very brief moment. Let's see the fastest sectors. This is domination by Mercedes today. But view more like domination by that place. That's the fastest sectors in two and three. Actually, Bram, sorry, made the move there on the avatar. I didn't expect that as normal point. But as I, Mercedes crosses the line to win the Grand Prix. And it's a five second time penalty. I've... Don't know for what, but he did get a five second time penalty. But he, and he says the fastest happened in the last race, too. It's five seconds for Jose Felix, so the penalty is really blew his face out of proportion. As Sparks, he gets second in the end, Bram third, Young fourth. So Bram came two positions, Scott Sparks came one. That is indeed a bit of a weird way at the penalties because of that at the end there. I thought they feel like to get 7th in the end after 5 seconds of time penalty. It's a great race for Ledford though, I have to give it some praise for that. <coughs> there he is, our race winner. He steps on the top step and it's the first for Mercedes, second for Alpine and third for Williams. So it's a bit of a eventful race to say the least. And thank you for joining us in this race, but let's just check out the start orders before we end the stream as it is It's a max points Weekend for Jack as he gains I mean that's 33 points as he gets 8 points on the sprint and 25 points Which is the win plus fastest lap So he really got the highest possible amount of points this weekend for Bram, he gets also a fair, fair tally of 21 points. Sparks gets 20. Keys gets 17. It's going to change up the 
drivers constructors, that's for sure. And Wickerson fifth, Shadow in sixth. After that first lap, it was really good. But I mean, Verbram, sorry, really got so the fact that he found himself pretty much last in the first after the first lap because the contact with Shadow. Don't know if it was at fault because we missed the initial contact, but if he's not at fault, he did a great race to finish in second. Thank you everybody for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow for tier 3 and tier 2.